there are so many different ways to to do these and to become a scientist and to produce good science and make good contributions to to the world. I don't think there's a a magic formula that one could put on the table. What I think there is is um, actually a, a certain number of um, I wouldn't even call it rules. I would call them principles um, that are valid for a scientist, but for any other job, I think. First one is you have to do something that you do like, otherwise it's a huge problem because you're not here to make a lot of money, you're here to enjoy, you're here to discover and you're here to be fully dedicated to what you do. So that's the first, the first point, you need to like what you do, to love doing science, to love uh, dealing with uncertainty, to love to deal with the unknown, that's point number one. Then point number two that I think is extremely important in any type of job that deals with creativity and discovery, which is to make bold statements. You cannot feel scared. Even if it feels bizarre to ask that because it's a little bit out of the box, you have to make that bold statement and have that courage to tackle it. You know What you believe is really very important, so you need to fight for it and you need to try and work very hard to uh, prove it or disprove it. A lot of times you will disprove it and you're not right. I think that's also very um, extremely important. Um, and then finally, which is totally associated with uh, making these bold statements, is to assume risks. There's a huge risk in every single big question because very frequently we are wrong. And that implies, and I think that's very important, especially for the young um, uh, scientists, um, should not be afraid of being wrong. Actually, we learn a lot on being wrong. You know, and uh, myself and all my colleagues in the laboratory, very frequently we get very excited with this idea, um, idea A or idea B. We do the experiments to prove it right or wrong and very frequently we are wrong. That's part of it, of the life of any scientist, of the life of any entrepreneur. I think that's part of it. Things don't necessarily always go right. Um, the important thing is what you learn from what went wrong and that's very important to build, you know, um, future lines of research, discover new things and make new challenges. Science is about solving problems that lead us to the unknown, that lead us to what we still don't know, that resolve some degree of uncertainty. But the uncertainty will always be there, right? I mean, that's what we do on a daily basis and that's absolutely critical. If the way that the uncertainty has got on ourselves is too much, then the consequence is always the same. It's that makes us um, as a scientist, to be too conservative, too incremental, and whenever your attitude is conservative and incremental, it's very difficult that you will make groundbreaking findings because you are not there digging into the unknown, you are just walking little by little on what was already done, either by yourself or by other colleagues. And, um, and that's probably not, um, as a young scientist, you went for in the beginning.